All right, Chevy 350, 99 Tahoe, part two. Took the distributor, tie down bolt. I was negative 24 degrees on the camera retard. Needed to turn that distributor a tooth. So if you have a negative reading, you're gonna wanna turn the distributor counterclockwise. If you're gonna pull the distributor and rotate the tooth or rotate the, the uh, shaft on the distributor, you're gonna wanna turn the, the, the rotor portion of it clockwise, which is essentially the same as turning the distributor counterclockwise, and vice versa. So negative reading, you want to essentially turn the distributor counterclockwise. To compensate for a positive reading, you're going to want to turn the distributor clockwise. So, and then of course pulling it will be the opposite for the rotor. So I pulled it, pulled it and advanced it a tooth just because I was negative 24 degrees, uh, and we'll see what kind of result we get. Oh, uh, and also the uh, mass airflow sensor, you can leave all that disconnected. Chevy's in the 90s and early 2000s substituted a known value for their uh, mass airflows when they'd go bad. So it will run without it. Not too concerned about it. So, see what we get. All right, cam retard at zero. So what you wanna do is, in order to uh, get a new reading on it as you adjust it, if it's not zero, you need to rev it up over a thousand RPMs. Let it come back down. So there's our answer right there. It's 27 degrees advanced too far. So I need to try to turn it back a little bit. So I'm gonna go back out there. I'm gonna turn it a little bit, give it a quick rev, see where it comes back at and uh, we'll go from there. So you just want to keep adjusting it back and forth until you get it to uh, plus or minus two and you'll be good to go. Make sure you rev it up over a thousand RPMs in order to get that new reading every time you move the, move the distributor. Until next time, thanks for watching.